everyone, it's Alexia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So Christmas is fast approaching and I thought this would be the perfect time to film a little holiday makeup tutorial. For this very special occasion, I even have my very festive holiday earrings on. I know, they're awesome. I personally hate long intros, so if you want to see how to do this holiday glam makeup look, then keep on watching. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to put my hair up with this cute little clip that I got from Amazon. There's this girl on TikTok, if I remember, I'll link her down below. And she has all these like Amazon finds and she's super fashionable and I just had to buy them. Okay, so first off, I'm going to do my eyebrows and this is a step that I never show on camera because I'm always like, oh, if it's like heavily requested, I'll make a video on it. No one has ever wanted to see it, which is fine. So I'm just going to start doing them on camera. Like always, I'll be using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm going to use the Morphe M158 brush for this. This is my favorite eyebrow brush. It's so precise. I'm like a huge eyebrow person. I used to fill them in like super bad. Now I think I've gotten the hang of it but I used to block them in completely like James Charles looking ass I would have super blocked in here so now I mainly just focus on the arch and my eyebrows are not very even at all which bothers me I like this one so much better the arch is higher but this one you know I'll just not pay attention to her okay I'll zoom you in I haven't <laughs> I haven't really plucked my eyebrows in the past couple days so if they're a little crusty don't mind that but I first like to brush them up how I did so they look somewhat like that and that's basically the shape that I want to follow So once I have the arch like that, you see there's like some space that's not filled in. So then I just use the excess to kind of bring it down and fill in the sparse areas like that. And then I take a very little bit of product and I just line the bottom of my brow. I do a very little bit in the front because we don't want them to get super blocky. And then I just fill in some sparse areas by doing this, not super placed. So then it should look something like this. And then so it looks a little bit more natural, I just fluff them out a bit, you know, mess with them a little bit. So they look like that. So then that is one finished brow. So I'm going to do the other one off camera and I'll be back. Next, I'm going to prime my face with this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. And this is in the shade Bare Radiance. And it's the perfect super glowy base to go under your makeup. So then once you put foundation and everything on top of it, you still have that healthy looking shine. But I am careful if I was to do this in public because my skin... <gasps> I did not just... Oh. It's okay, people. It's okay. I just got it all over my eyebrow. That is way too much. So I am careful when I use this in public because in the past couple months, or really in the past year, my skin has been super oily, like naturally. It just, the oils build up so fast. So when I do have to wear a lot of makeup in public for like an event or something, I tend to go a little bit more on the matte side. Even though I do prefer a glowy look, I need to pay attention to my skin's needs and I don't want to put oily products on top of my skin that is already producing too much oil. My dark circles look really good right now. When I plan on using darker eyeshadow colors, I like to do my eyes first, just in case there's any fallout or anything so I could just wipe it off my face and I wouldn't ruin any face makeup that was already on there. So to prime my eyes, I will be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and I am in the shade Light Ivory. So I just put about that much on my eyes and then I'm going to use a beauty sponge to blend it out. This one is from Real Techniques. It's a little bit dirty. I had a holiday show yesterday for dance which was virtual for me, if you know, you know. But anyways, I sadly had to do it virtually this year, which really stinks, but it happened to be perfect timing that my dance floors just came in for the basement, so it was really great. I was able to zoom in, do it virtually, and yeah, I had to do a full face makeup like normal, so that is why all my brushes are dirty and gross, but hopefully I will find the motivation to clean them when I'm done this video. Probably not, but we will try our best. Okay, so I am not going to set my eyes for this look just because I want the colors to show up really pigmented. So moving on to eyeshadow, we are going to start today's look off with the Morphe X James Charles palette. And although I don't want the final look to be super bright red, I am going to start with this bright red color. Then I'm going to add some browns and blacks to tone it down a little bit. I'll have to look up the shade name of this because I accidentally threw out the plastic covering for this, so I don't know the names of any of the shades. I guess I'll zoom you in for this part a little so we can get a little close and personal. So I'm going to dip into the red and I'm just going to start blending it into my crease. And I'm just raising my eyebrows slightly because I don't want to go overboard and get the shade everywhere that it shouldn't be. I know this looks crazy now, but I am going for a bit of a sharper tail to the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to mix this shade right here and this bigger one. And I'm just going to start to define my crease a little bit more. And for that, I will be using my Morphe M456 brush. I'm just going to start to pack this color on here, kind of in like a V almost. And then I'm going to put glitter on this side later. I feel like my eyeshadow looks always looks so bad when I'm doing it and then somehow the glitter pulls it all together but just trust the process please. 
I'm not a real makeup artist over here, so don't come at me. But as you can see, it's starting just to build a little bit of dimension to my eyes so they don't look as flat. And the goal is to leave some bright red at the top and on the tail, which I'm gonna blend out a little bit more. I wanna darken this up a little bit more, so I'm going to use my Morphe M506 brush, and I will be using this dark brown shade. And then after, I'm gonna transition into this black. I've never seen a black in a palette so pigmented. It is so perfect for any like smoky look. And as the colors get darker, I like to be a little bit more specific with the placement of them so I don't go crazy because I don't want to defeat the purpose of all the blending that I just did. Along with the last shade that I did the same thing with, I like to put it in the outer corner and then slowly I blend into the top part of my crease just so everything looks cohesive. And then I'm just going to bring this bottom shade to the bottom of the tail over here. So then later when I put black liner on, it's not just like a straight line of black because I want it to look kind of like it blends into the black. So now my eye looks something like this. So it's obviously defined. So now that my eye looks like this, it's ready for glitter. So I'm going to do the other eye and then come back to show you how I apply the glitter to my eyes. All right, so now both eyes are blended with the matte shades and I took the liberty of cleaning up the bottom of the eyeshadow here with some good old micellar water. So as I was taking out my glitter, I realized that this ABH glitter is actually a loose highlighter in the shade So Hollywood. So that is okay, we are still gonna use it. But first things first, I'm the realist. Drop this with the color. Now on my crease, I'm gonna use this NYX glitter primer to prep for the actual glitter that is about to go on. So what I like to do is just put some on my hand and I'll be taking this brush that came in the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, and I will be using this side of the brush for the glue. So once it's on my hand, I like to just take a little bit on the brush and really just make sure it's evenly distributed on the tip. And then I will carefully go over my crease. Normally I would cut my crease with concealer, but I'm a little bit lazy, so I just like to combine both steps in one. And I bring it to about here on my eyelid. I go straight in with the same brush into the glitter, and then I simply just pack it on wherever I put the glue. And I try to be careful about the placement at the top of my crease because it's a little bit harder to clean up. Ooh, okay, I am pleasantly surprised with this loose highlighter on my eyes working like glitter. Great, so now that the glitter is on and I love how it looks, I'm going to go back in with my black eyeshadow just to really finish off the smoky eye. And now that the glitter is on, I don't like to go back and forth because then the glitter is just going to get distributed everywhere on my eye that I don't want it to be. So I just like to pat it in the outer corner and just be very specific about where I place it because this will be what pulls the whole look together. Again, just really focusing on this outer triangle just to really draw the attention to the center of my eye. Oh my god, it's Megan Thee Stallion! <laughs> Please remind me to never do that again on camera. Okay. Sorry guys, I get shy. <laughs> I'm just trying to come out of my shell. So now my eye looks something like this and I'm going to put on some eyeliner and some lashes. So my eyeliner of choice is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And to this day, eyeliner scares the crap out of me to apply just in case I mess up. So we are just going to take it slow and not get panicked. Maybe I'll put some background Christmas music here because I don't want to talk while I do my eyeliner or else I'm going to screw it up. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye, like usual, off camera. All right, so the glitter is over here and I started putting lashes on. So I'm using the Violet Voss lashes in the style Just Slayin'. But anyways, I'm just gonna use my finger to press them on and the lashes I love the look of, but I hate applying them with the Burning Passion because I'm so bad at it. And I have to say it is 10 times easier to put lashes on someone else. Okay, moving on from that, I'm going to go back into my James Charles palette and use this shade right here, this dark green. And I will be using my Morphe M124 brush. And I'm just going to put this very close to my waterline. And what do you know, my lash is coming off. Hmm. And going in with the lighter green, I'm just going to layer on top of the darker one. Again, I like doing this because it's not too in your face, but it's just another little pop of color. As the final step of my eye look, I'm just going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and just do my waterline. And I love doing this because it really just makes your entire look pop and makes you look so awake. And your eyes kind of look like cartoonish almost from afar because they're so big. You know the drill, same to the other eye. All right, so now both eyes are complete. I really love how they turned out. Actually, a little bit better than I thought. And also, may I just say absolutely no fallout you can see for yourself james really uh, james charles really popped off with this palette i didn't doubt him for a second but like there is no fallout and i used some really bright and dark colors so i'm very impressed 
At the very beginning of the video, I did prime my face, so now I'm going to move to some foundation, and I will be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I'm in the shade Nude, and yes, I know, this is a lot darker and more orange than my skin tone is right now, but recently I've been using the Jergens Moisturizer, like the natural tanning moisturizer, so every day it's supposed to get gradually a little bit darker. So I'm hoping that soon my body will match my face. And then the other day I actually ordered the one that is meant for your face so it's oil free and it won't break you out. So hopefully I will be looking a little bit less pale soon because when I'm pale, I don't know about you, but I feel miserable. I'm looking a little bit like Donald Trump right now. I know it doesn't matter as much for my sake, but please, please, please blend down your neck, especially if you are going somewhere because you do not want it to be uneven. And then the second that you lift your head up they're gonna see a line of two different colors and it's not gonna be cute sis also sorry if the lighting starts to change slightly it's starting to get dark outside there are so many good things about winter but i do hate that it gets dark a little bit earlier where i live so for instance i woke up today at like 12 o'clock because i normally have dance on saturday from like six to eight hours so this was my first Saturday in a while that I had nowhere to go so I was like I'm taking advantage of this let me sleep in and then my friend came over and we talked for like an hour she just like drove and we walked around the neighborhood so then by the time I do that which shouldn't have even taken that long in the first place my day is already over so now it's 4 30 and it's dark and we're gonna eat dinner soon honestly in quarantine everything just kind of meshes together I don't really know what's happening I hope someone can relate next moving on to concealer I will be using the elf hydrating camo concealer and oh and this is the same concealer that I used to prime my eyes earlier so I'm just going to do a little triangle under my eye like that I don't like to overdo it and I would easily say that this is comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape concealer and it is so much cheaper this is like four dollars Tarte Shape Tape is like 28 so I really like this for a cheaper alternative and it looks so beautiful on you can just see how hydrating it is And it blends so smoothly. I'm not sure how many shades that this comes in for me It happens to match my skin like perfectly But I know there are some brands like wet n wild for instance that their concealers and foundations only have like four shades Like how do you expect that to fit an entire population of people? So I love how overall brands are starting to be more inclusive especially of like the darker skin tone so everyone can wear makeup there's so many different ranges of darker shades and I'm so glad that the brands are starting to realize and even super fair shades they were kind of missing in drugstores for a while so I'm really glad they're getting their you know what together I'm just so glad that brands are becoming more inclusive and it's just so great to see how the makeup community is evolving guys look in the video on the inner corner of my eye and right under my lip I just did not put any foundation there and it is like that for the entirety of this video I'm so embarrassed but I literally can't go back now so we're just gonna leave it so for the rest of the video I'm just not gonna have foundation here or here <laughs> roll the clip now to set my face with some powder I'll be using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder yeah it's in the shade translucent they also have a darker one for darker skin tones which I think is great basically if you don't know how to bake this is just how I like to do it so I take it on a slightly damp beauty blender and I just press it under my eyes and in my t-zone where it would normally get the most oily and although just brushing powder on your face does have a similar effect i think that baking it and really pressing the powder into your skin really does a much better job of controlling all of your oil production also if i'm going to some sort of event where i need a lot of makeup i focus a lot on smile lines too or oh a good example would be like a recital or performance i'm always you know doing this and if your face is stuck like this for what like if i'm in like three shows if it's stuck for at least three no my makeup on recital day is usually on for at least five hours so if your makeup's on for five hours, by the end of the show, you're going to have these crazy lines or the end of your performance or event. So I really focus then on pressing the powder into my smile lines so then they don't show as much when my face is relaxed. Next for bronzer, I will be using from the Balm Cosmetics Bahama Mama Bronzer. I'd say this one's pretty comparable to the Physician's Formula Bronzer because that one is my ultimate favorite and I will be using the Morphe M405 brush. All of these Morphe brushes can be bought from Ulta or Morphe.com. When James released his palette I got the package of his favorite brushes too for Christmas so that's where most of these are from because before I got the package I had I think one Morphe brush and at first I wasn't obsessed but I'm going to love them so much. Yeah we're just doing a little bit of forehead bronzer. Actually a lot of it because my forehead's huge forehead game strong i like to bring a little bit down my neck not too much so this just does a nice job of bringing back any color that was lost after all of the cream products okay well i'm looking for my nose contour brush today one direction's 10-year contract ends and i'm really sad i mean okay that's like selfish to say because i know their management was absolutely toxic and i'm so glad that they're free from that but at the same time if they do decide to get back together which they promised they would they said at the end of history this is not the end they promised so i believe that they will eventually come back together in the future 
future, but under new management, I don't think they're entitled to their name of One Direction, and I don't think they're entitled to any of their songs. I don't know how the heck that would work, but I hope they figure something out. But as of right now, you know, I'm in a huge Harry Styles phase. I'm ah, I'm so obsessed with him. Live, love Harry Styles. I love Harry Styles. I dreamed that I met Harry Styles last night. I love Harry Styles. Did I say I love Harry Styles? Watermelon sugar. And I'm actually seeing him in September. I was supposed to see him in July, but you know, because of COVID, everything got canceled. So I'm praying that that does not get canceled. It has already been too long since I've seen Harry. The only time I've seen Harry in concert was in like 2012 with One Direction. That was my very first concert. Ugh, if I could go back in time, I would just go to all of the One Direction concerts. Because although I was always obsessed with One Direction, I have grown to love them more and more every single year as I get older. So I just really wish I went to another tour. That was my biggest regret. And just speaking of like music and stuff, I watched virtually the Jingle Ball this year and it was actually really good. Um, obviously Harry was really good. He looked a little bit like tired, so I felt kind of bad for him. Like I hope management isn't like super on top of him right now which they probably are but i just hope he's doing okay because he cares so much about his fans and he's just so concerned about the well-being of everyone else but i really just hope he's okay my heart also goes out to liam payne who apparently i just read on tiktok they've been like manipulating him so much with his management and they've been trying to portray him as this like sex symbol and like ugh, it's so disgusting i hope they're all doing okay <sighs> okay enough of that before i get too emotional but anyways i will be using this blush bizarre palette from tarte and today I will be going in with the shade Endless and I will be using my Morphe E4 brush. And what I started doing, because I used to smile all the time when I, when I applied bruh. So when I applied bruh, bruh, but oh. <laughs> so when I used to apply blush, I would always smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks. But now I prefer to keep a more relaxed face and then kind of bring it down my cheek like this to give it a little more of a look, you know, just so I can focus exactly on where I'd want the blush to look. If someone just caught me off guard, you know, if I'm just like in the supermarket, I'm like, oh, hey. Hey. And I actually did mix in a little bit of authentic too. And because this is a little bit of a Christmas look, I'm going to put a little bit more on my nose just so it looks like I've been out in the cold and it's like cute. And to get the foundation off my lips, I like to use this trick that I saw in Maddie Ziegler's video, although she learned it from someone else, I don't remember who. You like the Q-tip and then you apply pressure and just get all of the makeup off because if you press hard, then one, it gets all the makeup off and two, look how pink my lips just got, like so pink. Because I guess it makes all the blood like rush to that area. I cannot stress enough how important it is to keep your lips moisturized while you're doing your makeup. Because the last thing you want is to put, especially like a matte lipstick, over chapped lips. And my lips are always chapped, so I'm really trying to be good about that. Alright, so now it's time for highlighter. And today I will be using the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls highlight. So what I like to do is just spritz my brush a little bit, just so the pigment is a little bit more in your face, you know? And then I just do little circular motions. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh, I love it so much. Oh my gosh. And then I like to bring it up a little bit onto my temple and <gasps> period. And just because I want today's highlight to be a little bit more pigmented, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'll be using the shade Gumdrop right here. And just a very little bit to go over top. There you go. Just see, just the slightest bit more shimmer. Next in the same palette, I'm going to use the shade Marshmallow in my inner corner and on the tip of my nose. Wait, oh my god, I'm an idiot. I never wiped off the bake under my eyes. Okay, girl. Okay, miss girl. <laughs> no big deal. Now I'm going to use my L'Oreal mascara called Voluminous Million Lashes. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to put this on my bottom lashes. Personally, when putting on mascara, I like to do this little back and forth motion because it really just helps to make them look a little bit thicker. Also, yesterday when I was putting my mascara on for my holiday show, I got the biggest eyelash stuck in my eye. And it was really bothering me, but then all of a sudden it just disappeared. But it wasn't on my finger. I didn't, like, get it out. It's just in there somehow. And I'm probably going to feel it, like in two hours and it's gonna start bugging me and my eyes gonna start like spazzing. So for today's lipstick, I will be using the Maybelline lipstick in this shade Truffle Tees 930. So I personally love a good matte lip, but for today that is not what I'm going for. So I'm just gonna use this all over. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop lipstick in the shade Uno Mas and I'm going to put it more in the center just to add a little bit more dimension. And then lastly, my go-to lip gloss, I will be going in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. And just in the very center. And the last step is setting spray. So I will be using the Milani Make It Dewy Spray. Alright, so that is the end of this makeup look. If you recreate this look, feel free to tag my makeup Instagram at Alexia's Makeup underscore. And I will definitely give you a like and comment. And you can also follow all my other socials. TikTok, Twitter, Insta, Snap. Everything will be in the description below. I just want to say thank you too to the people that consistently come back and watch my videos. Even though my schedule 
well, there is no schedule because I barely post, maybe like twice a year if you're lucky. Obviously everyone's super busy, but because I'm self-quarantined right now, I will hopefully have time to film a couple more videos for you. So obviously I love makeup, um, this is what I like to do, I like filming makeup videos, so if you have any suggestions of any certain look that you'd want me to recreate, then please comment down below, let me know. I can always vlog a little bit, I can do some dance videos, I don't know, like just, you can give me ideas, I will be open to anything. But anyways, I hope everyone is safe and healthy, and I hope you have an amazing holiday season, and hopefully this will be up before Christmas, but if not, I hope you have an amazing Christmas. And even if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have an amazing month. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to treat people with kindness. Bye!